give us some advice. You were there. You're the great, great granddaughter of Brigham Young, the second part of the Mormon church, and you have this mind that all of a sudden is picking up this stuff. What was the struggle, and what's your advice to somebody else that's struggling? Well, truth will stand up to investigation. We don't have to worry about looking into the translation of the Bible. You can go learn Hebrew and Greek, and you don't have to worry about coming up with a different version than the Bible. It's going to say the same thing no matter who translates it. But you don't find that in Mormonism. There is not this assurance of the translation being accurate or that you could use your own mind to determine those things. Everything is phrased, follow the prophet. Whatever the leaders tell you, that's God's instruction. Don't worry about these side issues. The prophet was, is the man that speaks for God. So everything, all evidence is downplayed. It's set aside. If it contradicts what the leaders have said, then the facts don't matter. I have people come into the bookstore that I talk with and they'll say, I don't care what the books say. I don't care what the facts are. I prayed and I know I have a testimony the tr church is true. And that becomes the default position of every question if you pray, you know it's true, therefore you don't need to look into these things. 